Hi, a very warm welcome to Almax Kenya where we are all about educative and entertaining content. We thank God for another beautiful day and we just don't take it for granted. Welcome, welcome back and I hope you are going to be enjoying each and every uh, second that you spend watching my videos. So today's video we are uh, about to make some omena. Yes, if you don't know omena, kindly go and check it out. I don't know how it's called in English, but this is omena. We're going to make it, uh, we're going to fry them. I've already washed it. Actually, the method that I use, I sort them out and then I boil them a little bit with some salt. And then after that, I clean, I dry the water. I clean it up again. I rinse it. I rinse it using clean water and then now I put it in my pan to dry with some onions. So as you can see we've just added some oil and we are going to let it cook for some time. This actually is the best best method to make your omena. If you don't want it to be smelly, you know there are people who don't like omena because of the smell. So you can uh, choose to do the uh, prior thing of boiling it fast just a little boiling yes and then you uh, sieve it sieve the water and then you can rinse it off and then now put it to dry heat it to dry in a pan or sufuria wherever you're using to cook your omena so you add a good amount of oil not too much not too less just to make it crunchy if you love your omena crunchy that's what i like so uh you keep stirring uh that's what i'm doing actually right now so i'll stir and let the onions uh also cook as well as uh, dry up my omena or fry them to be a bit crunchy using oil I just added a little bit oil because I saw it wasn't enough what I had uh, put just to make it crunch and very tasty but then you can choose not even to put tomatoes uh, you can just choose to you cook it uh, crunchy that way and I'm going to be using some herbal sea salt uh, all the way from Winnie's Pure Health they have the best best but they love this herbal sea salt because it also has some rosemary in it so it gives also the flavor a very beautiful nice flavor rosemary flavor to the food so that's what I used remember when I boiled my omena I also added some salt but if you want to boil anything even if it's serious or something and you you if it's serious if you're boiling just to eat them or consume consume them that day put some salt boil them with some salt even githeri so that it can have the taste so you keep stirring so that the omena won't also burn you heat it at a medium heat and then at this point you can choose uh, to put or add in your spices if you had so if you have some garlic some ginger you know some uh, turmeric you want to add some paprika some black pepper whatever name them whatever you choose but if, you, if you're not a spicy person you can just uh, skip that part but it's good to add any of your spices or any spices that you would want in your meal at this point so for me I chose to add some paprika I chose to add some paprika I love the taste the paprika, paprika gives food so I'll just add a f 
uh, just a, a little amount not too much because i also have a baby and i do it once in a while by the way i, I also don't like spicy food uh so i just added a little amount of paprika that's the only spice that i'm going to be using so again you stir and mix it well as you can see at this point it's becoming crunchy it's hardening it's frying well So I had prepared my onions, uh, sorry, my tomatoes. And so I'm going to be adding my nicely chopped tomatoes. I actually used three well-ripped, ripe, is it ripe or ripped? <laughs> three well-ripe, uh, <laughs> three well-ripped tomatoes. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right thing or, uh, I don't know. Is it the right English? <laughs> and I'm going to be adding some little uh, water so that my food won't burn. Yeah, and then I'm going to be covering it up. To be covering it up. Oh my God. Risungu wewe. So ntatumie kifuniko nifunike. Yes, I just used a lid. Uh, so that to just cover the pan so that my tomatoes can simmer uh -huh. so you just uh, cook it under very not really low but a bit medium heat remember you don't want your uh, omena to burn so you steam your nyanya for just some few minutes and then you get to open, mash it. But there, see, pendi, I don't like nyanya nye haija. It's not well mashed. I just don't love. I'm that person who is choosy. <laughs> when I come to your place and then you cook your food and your nyanya, they're not even well mashed. Right? <laughs> so I love them really well mashed. So that's what I'm doing with a wooden stick. You mash them fast before now uh, mixing or stirring. Make sure they are well mashed. Uh, you can also choose to blend your nyanyas. But I, I sometimes I see it as a lot of work, you know. So I, I just prefer steaming it and then mashing, mashing it. And we are good to go. If you cook omena the right way, trust you me, it's the best, best food. Hey, uneza kulo geli kilombi libana peke ako. Omena is so sweet. I'm a fish lover. I love fish. I love any you know, the seafoods and all that. So, mm, omena, kisum boys. <laughs> They are one of the best. You can always choose, choose uh, to change your diet. Once in a while, you know, when you eat liver, plan your diet. Today you eat liver, tomorrow chicken. Uh, the next day you eat um, some omena. You know, the next day maybe some eggs. Make sure to keep your uh, diet or meal checked, especially when it's uh, comes to balancing your meals and your diets make sure you're eating a balanced diet okay omena is very affordable so i'm um, you're not taking protein because oh i can't afford a hundred bob to go get meat no 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 you can afford 30 shillings there are even uh, women who are selling in the market even from 30 bob 50 so you can always go purchase come karanga them very well get your um skooma or spinach or your cabbage and then you know 
unateremsha masembe and you have a fruit there and then after that drink a glass of water and oh my god you are healthy because you made the carbohydrates the proteins the vitamins you know yes so uh -huh. just know the right way to cook it's never hard even if you're a bachelor or a spinster whichever wherever you can always there's so so much if you decide uh to plan your meal or your diet for a week imagine it's easy it's so so easy because there are very many options of proteins there's beans uh there's so so much to choose from you know yes so as you can see our um, menu is in endelea the tomatoes are well mashed so i covered the pan with the lid again just to uh, steam it for some few minutes so that i can remove my food because i can see it's already ready <coughs> don't mind my voice well i have a flu in an impelecambio it's so so yummy as you can see <laughs> so so sweet then it can have a crunchiness that's why i told you it's not a must you put or add in some tomatoes you can even just choose to do it with onions alone so there it is our menu is so ready with our skooma and ugali over there you know so so ready to be <laughs> yeah so that's it guys I'm serving my omena to enjoy my lunch. As you can see, it's so yummy by the way, very tasty. And then the crunchy bit of it is what I like most. <clears throat> yeah, so that was just a very short video to just show you how you can make and enjoy your omena at home. Bye bye guys. Thank you.